All right, this video is about YouTube Auto, or as it has been renamed, CarStream. And what this is, it's a, an application that you can put on your phone to watch video on the main infotainment screen. It works in Android Auto. <clears throat> so, um, right now I have the app installed. I have Android Auto, I'm hooked up right now. And I'm just gonna show you what it actually looks like on this screen here. So, um, oh, by the way, if you're wondering about this, this is an IOTO, IOT uh, wireless charger right here. So I use that to charge the phone, and right down here I have the wire that goes to the USB port all the way down there at the bottom. So anyway, um, back to our little thing here. I'm going to show you how this works. You click, you press this little button over here, which is looks like a little speedometer. When you click that, Right, so now you got the little message right here, basically, I understand we the risks. We are now in a Hyundai Ioniq Okay, so you say that right there. And right now it's actually showing the last video that I was running. This is one of uh, Jorn uh, Nyland with his Hyundai Ioniq winter range driving tests. Anyway, <clears throat> so um, we're going to go back. Okay, click there. I think it's this one. Yeah, that's it right there, okay. So now I'm going to click home. So pressing the home button brings me back and it says YouTube. So the default page, you know, it starts as, as YouTube right here. Now over here on the far, uh, far right at the top, you press that icon right there and you have external sources and so on. So this external storage right here is essentially the SD card that's in my Galaxy S7 Edge. And I'm just going to scroll down here, click on videos. And inside videos I have another folder called Ionic. Uh, whoops, that was not what I wanted. Ionic. And in here I have an Ionic EV Android Auto. This is a this is a playlist that I have on uh, YouTube right now. And inside this playlist is uh, I, what I did is I downloaded these MP uh, these videos as MP4s onto my phone. Now the one I really want to show you right here is where is it? Watch YouTube in Android Auto finally. This is explains how the process works. Now, it's very simple because what you do is you go to the website, <clears throat> you download the APK. Uh, the APK is basically an Android package for an application. And it, even though this is not available on the, um, on the store, the Google Play, um, you can actually still sideload it, which means you install it you know, from a, from a file you download onto your phone. And when you do that, the phone, especially the S7, will complain about it saying, you know, this is an outside source, this is an unknown, unknown source, do you want to do it? You say yes, and then the application installs. Then the next step is to go into Android Auto itself. Uh, you need that installed as well. And when you go into Android Auto, you'll turn on developer mode. So you go into the about, and then you click on it like eight or ten times, and that turns on developer mode. And then when you go into developer mode, you'll, you'll have to actually allow unknown sources. This is what allows Android Auto to function with um, YouTube Auto or CarStream. Uh, because it's actually an unknown source that's not registered on, you know, in the Android Auto infrastructure or whatever the heck the Google calls it. And um, this video here basically shows you how to do it. And um, this is a video that's actually on the phone right now. So it's an MP4 right down here. And I'm going to click on that. There you go. And now I'll, I'll just watch it like this, maybe narrate it a little bit. So it says, wait no more. So it's YouTube Auto. So at the kirankumar.com, that's where you download it. So download link is in the description, basically. There's an explanation. You go to the website. You download the app right there. There's the button right there that says download. And yes, you download it. You save it somewhere in like you're in your downloads folder. You go from there and you install it. There you go, the app is installed. Now in his case, he probably already allowed outside sources. Now you go here, this is the actual YouTube Auto app. It shows you some videos and so on. That's all fancy. You can do some searches, you can install other sites and so on.
So I'm showing you a whole bunch of stuff here. Now you'll notice here that the description on the body is clipped off a little bit because this is essentially full screen video. So I, if I use a smaller screen like that, this is clipped. But the bottom bar here, you cannot get rid of that bottom bar. Alright, so there you go. Tap, tap on Android Auto multiple times. Click, 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 click on, uh, sorry, about Android Auto. And that gets to the developer. You go into developer settings, you scroll to the bottom, and you turn on unknown sources right there at the bottom. Enable unknown sources checkbox. And that's what it allows. Now connect your phone to your car. That's this little wire right here I have in mine. And there we are. So there is the car right there. And then you'll see at YouTube Auto. And in my case, it basically, I have a more updated version compared to the video, and it says Car Street. And there you go. Now you can go in and you can watch videos like what I just showed you right now. You can watch videos that are streaming off of YouTube or other websites, various different sources. Or um, you can load videos, uh, download videos into your phone directly and play them from there. Nice little example right there. He shows you you can advance. The one downside that I've seen to this is it doesn't seem to recognize playlists. So um, when I had the... Um, my YouTube playlist, I downloaded them all, including a, a playlist with an M3U extension. And I tried to open up the M3U extension and it just refused to do that. Uh, display safety, that I don't think even works right now. You can actually drive your car right now with the video playing. Um, obviously, that's a little bit dangerous if you're distracted by the video, so don't. Uh, but it could be okay for the passenger and the ones to watch the video. Just keep your eyes on the road when you're doing this. Um, in my personal opinion, the reason I put this in there is because if I stop somewhere and on DC fast charging for half an hour, then what I want to do is, you know, I'm bored. I, I'll, maybe I'll plug this in and watch a video while I'm DC fast charging. So um, that's really the uh, the reason, my motivation behind this. And also, um, you know, if I go to these EV shows or something and then somebody asks me some stuff about the, I the Ionic, well, I can actually play some of these videos. So if I hit back right there and then back again, and then I can go, like, for example, the Ionic information right here. So I downloaded that, and I can show um, people, well, what is exactly the, the Ionic, right? So, the Ionic EV. And this is... Uh, here, an entirely new generation of electric vehicles begin. This is the actual video. Let's the, dive the, into the story of Ionic Electric. The video from uh, Hyundai, from Hyundai themselves. Technologies. The Ionic story. Electric power system. At the heart of an electric so, vehicle. Anyway, is that's one of the reasons I wanted to show it. Like people ask me questions all the time so I can show Let's these go. videos. Oh, Ionic electric. Stop. And I can go back home here. Now, also interesting as well is now you have these YouTube videos that are here. But what I did is I actually added an external source. So if I click here, you can basically add something else. So what I did is I added this one over here, which is 2B TV. So if I click there, the web browser fires up and goes into my website which is Tubi TV. And from Tubi, I can download and, and watch videos. I haven't registered it here because it doesn't know about my phone for Tubi because I actually have the Tubi app on it. Um, you can use things like Crackle, Hulu, and so on and so on. And the way to do that is from here, you browse to a website like this one. So I could say, search, I could Crackle. Those are usually old movies playing there. Uh, crackle.com, see it recognizes it right there. So I'm going to click on that, see what Google comes up with, and there it is right there, m.crackle.com. Click on that, and looks like it's taken a while to load. And here it comes, there's Crackle. So these are some of the videos. Now, if I wanted to add Crackle as a source, basically bookmark it, I click over here in the top right. And then I go add current site right here. And there it is right there. So I don't know why this is duplicated here, but the right there it says crackle. So anytime I want to go back in, I just press on that. Now, for some reason it duplicated this, and I don't know if that's really you know, a bug in the software. I'll go back into bookmarks, make sure it didn't duplicate. Yeah, it's okay. That's just a little bug, nothing to worry about. But if you want to delete something, like for example, if I want to delete crackle, you just long press, and little red X comes up, and then you just click on that, and you didn't do it, but if you go back in, well, that sucks. It looks like it's frozen. Well, this is still very beta-ish software, so I guess there are issues. Let me go to Google Maps. Let me go back into 
Okay, I understand the risks. Click on the application. Yeah, I took it out. Good, good. So there is a little, it, it is a little bit buggy. This guy is still developing it, and um, there are certain issues that pop up, but that's fine. You know, given the fact that we can do this kind of stuff, it's really awesome, and I'm not going to complain right now. Anyway, um, there's tons of things you can do right there. It's, you know, I really like this a lot because you can do. Um, I'd have to set it up right now. I'm still going to play around with it and set it up with my account, my user ID, and I can get my own playlist. And, uh, you know, maybe you can watch the video I'm filming right now. Uh, but th this is really um, an enjoyable. I think this is a nice step forward. Um, again, be careful, though. Don't drive when you're watching the video. But uh, uh, for other passengers in the car, it could be very interesting. Or, and like I said, you're DC fast charging, you're bored. This is a nice way to keep yourself occupied. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, obviously there's going to be more features to come, maybe I'll update the videos and uh, I'll post a link on the video uh, showing the, um, the website you can download it and the, um, the actual video, the, insula the installation videos that, 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 um, that I downloaded in the playlist, so like the ones down here in external storage. This video is Ionic. Well, he has more down here about uh, car stream bookmarks update and so on. So there's a lot more videos that he has that I actually downloaded over here. So I'm going to post some of the links and to show these uh, videos. Maybe put it, put it towards the playlist. And uh, you guys can enjoy it. So this is a nice little feature for the Yannick. I hope you guys are going to enjoy it. And uh, I'll uh, see you at my next video. Okay, bye.